Hello crochet fans! So uh, we have been trying to do a bear, Try. we are building a bear. Uh, so far we have the head, obviously a bear needs more, so today we're looking at the body. So it starts the same way as the head, it starts with that pesky, I call it pesky, some people love it, magic circle. So for the magic circle what you need to do is you're going to do a circle around your um, finger again. So you go once round, twice round, and you just hold it up at the top. It doesn't have to be especially uh, tight. You're going to get your hook, go underneath those two lines, pick up the wool and bring it back to the front. Then you're going to do a chain using the wool that goes to your ball. There we are, pick it up and bring it through and there you have a chain. That will secure those two uh, rings here. Take it off your finger and you'll have this. So I haven't pulled it anywhere, just taken it off my finger. So now I'm going to hold it here and my instructions say six single crochets. So single crochet is into that big hole here. Pick up the wool and bring it back to the front. There we go. See? Through both. There we go. Pull over and then just bring it through both. And you'll end up with that beautiful pattern that shows us. See? Spins around. There. That is my first stitch. So we're going to do six of those. Two. So here we go into the big hole, pick up that wool, bring it back to the front, wool over and through both. Into the hole, pick up, bring it back to the front, over, through both. When we've done our six, we're going to tighten up our magic, that's why it's called a magic ring. So here we are, here's our magic ring. Yours will look like that. Of course, it's not very much a ring and it's not very magic looking. So what we're gonna do is if you put your thumb or your finger in here and you pull the short string, as you pull, you just wriggle it around. Make, try and make sure that both of these circles tighten. Now, it might be that only one tightens, so that's okay. You can tug it, but even sometimes that doesn't really work. So you just knot in, but with a magic ring, instead of using this, it's a bit more secure than just using a stitch. And you can get a really tight little space like this. I'll move out of the way. There we go. Right, so now in each of these stitches, we are going to do two single crochet. Two single crochet in each stitch. We're not going to join, we're not going to do any chains, we're just going to go round, two in each. Right, so here we go. Same as before. There's, uh, mm, there's the next stitch there. We're just going to go straight into the stitch. Pesky thing. Sometimes it's quite hard to find the first. Here we go. Stitch. But you're looking for that shape there. You can go wool over, bring it through to the front. So now I've got two on my hook. Wool over, bring it through both. So two in each stitch. Let's go. Just counted, I have 12 stitches on there. There we go getting bigger. So now we need to increase it again. I'm looking for my box of magic. So this time you're going to do one stitch in the first stitch in the top of the first stitch. So if we watch, here it is. 
going to go one into there, bring it back, and then into the next stitch, we're going to do two. So one, and two. And this will split in last week. There we are. One in the first, and then there's the, there's the one, and there's the two in the next. We're going to go around like that. One, and then two, and then one, and two. Remembering that we had six stitches in our first, and in the second row we had 12, and the third row will have 18 stitches. One, two, and one, and two. So that's three so far. Always check at the end of the row to make sure that you have the right number. Quickly going to do that. Perfect. Here's my 18 stitches. So in the next row you want to add another 6 stitches and you're going to do that every 4th one. 6 4 is a 24. So you're going to do 2 singles, so single, single, and then in the next stitch 2 crochet stitches. So it's going to go into the top of the stitch through both of the hoops, one, two, and then three, four, into the next stitch, three, and then back into the same stitch, four. Do that all the way around, you count 24 stitches. If you're clever and you've got yourself a safety pin, that's all it takes. Pop it in the beginning and then you just count one, two, double, one, two, double until you hit the safety pin and then you're done. If you don't have a stitch marker on you, the just count. We've just done four. So five, six, seven, eight. Here is 24. As you can see, it's quite flat. It's just going out and out and out. The next round, round five, Six, five, thirty. You're going to do thirty stitches. This is going to be single, 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 then a double. So one, two, three, four, five. Finish row five, and I have thirty stitches. Row six, we're going up again, thirty six. So but you can see where we're doing our increases. It's beginning to have a little thump there. There's another one there, and another one there, and another one there. We don't want a bumpy uh, bear. So instead of going single, 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 double, we're going to go double. Single, 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 double. Single, single. And it will help to round it out and stop it looking quite so angly. So double first. Two stitches in one stitch from the round before. One, two. So if you were going to do it in rhythm, you go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go. Here we are. Here is um, 36 around. So now it's uh, not very teddy bearish. We need to go down, we need to make it curved, and we do this by going round and round and round. So rows seven, eight, and nine for three rows, we're just going to go round and round and round. Let's go. So this row, there's no increases. Just one stitch in every stitch from the round before. So here we are at row 
nine. I have used a pen to try and give me a stitch marker because I could not remember where I was. Uh, safety pin is much easier because then you won't pick yourself with it. So now this does not look much like a teddy bear, but have faith and hold on because it's changing. This is row 10 now. What we're going to do is four single crochet. So normal stitch and normal stitch and normal stitch and normal stitch. And then we're going to do a decrease. So let me show you how that works. So normal stitch, just like we've been doing. Two, three, four, none. To do a decrease, what we're going to do is we're going to go up the first stitch and down the second. So here we go, look. Up into the middle of the stitch. Here we go. You see, up into the middle. And then down. You see there, into the middle. Down the next one. So we have a kind of a cross shape on our hook. And there's the back of our stitches there. So we just used half, the outside half of the stitch, up the first one and down the second one. Wool goes over and then we pull it through. So we have two now, over and through both. So then we're going to do four again. And we'll do it again, so I'll show you again. One, single crochet, two, three, four. So here we, here's our decrease. <gasps> I'm very good at the technology. Are you ready? We're going to go. There's the stitches. Now you can see up that one and then into that one. And down to that one. And I have a cross on my hook. And they're going to pick up that wool, put the wool around, and just drag it through the cross shape. Like that. Now I've got two hooks on, two circles on my hook. Wool comes over. And then it's through both. One, two. So I've only got one on my hook. And then we do four again. Two, three, four. So, from this angle, there we go. Look, you can see all the rows here. We're going to go up from the inside. There we go. And in. And then down the next one. Got a cross rope on my hook. Wool over, bring it just through the cross shape. So I've got two loops on my hook. Wool over, and then pull it through. Oh, keep going. Four singles. And then again, up one, down two. Up one, down the second. Through the cross. Through both. One. You'll be able to feel if you've got a, um, a stitch holder in place coming round underneath your fingers. You know you're near the end of the row. Stitch marker. Now it's beginning to look like something that could hold some stuffing. Good. Brilliant. So you can if you want to start stuffing, but i rather wait a little bit. Row, the next row, which is row 11, single crochet all the way around. So I'm trying to make his body a little bit longer. It's not so he doesn't just go out, up, and then in. So we're trying to make it go out, up, and up a little bit. So one row, single crochet around.
So it's like there we've done his bottom and he's coming in a little bit, or she is coming in a little bit. So now we're going to make it, we're going to do like her chest area. Um, minus boobs. So there she is, look. That's her bottom ready. Now uh, we're going to do a decrease round. Then a couple, so her shape will be like this, then up, a bit longer, and then in. So we're going to do another decrease round. So we're going to de de do a decrease and then three single crochets. So decrease, if you remember, is one, down two, over through the cross shape, over through both. There we go. You can't really see the decreases from the front, that's what we're looking for. So once you've done your decrease, then it is three single crochets. So you're looking for a round that finishes with 24 stitches. So you had 30 stitches in the round, and now you're going to have 24. So up one, down the next, through the cross, all over, through both, and then three normal ones. We're nearly there. We are round 12 of 16. And don't forget they're getting smaller now as well. So we won't be long. Up one, down the next. Wool over through the cross shape, wool over through both. Then one, two, three. I think when we've done this round, we need to start um, stuffing. Now you can make the stuffing as full, so these are like sturdy, or you can make it quite floppy. They do tend to go a bit floppy over time, but sometimes when they're sturdy they can look a bit angry. And they're not as cuddly. Right, let's get some stuffing in. So you just shove it in. Walking in with her fingers. This is an old pillow. I stuck to the wash and it really didn't suit it. There we go. Isn't it amazing how it squashes in? There we go. It looks like a ball of. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to keep going around. Next thing we need to do um, is rows 13 and 14, so two rounds of single crochet all the way around. Do use a proper stitch marker if you're going to use one because that really is very annoying. So two rounds, one stitch in each stitch. So here are, here he is, look, you can see that little tummy shape. So now uh, we are on round 15. So um, we are going to two single crochet and then a decrease. So one, two, decrease, one, two. It's going to come in quite sharply. So single, single, a decrease. A single, a single, a decrease. Here we are at the end of 15. It's got quite a defined little shape. There we go. Okay. Cute. Uh, then we're going to single crochet all around. It's just one stitch in every stitch. All round, you should have 18 stitches at the end. So 
So here I am at the end of my uh, row. I have a lovely little shaped body ready for the head to sit on the top. Look at that. So I'm going to finish it off and the way we finish it off is to put more stuffing in. And then we're going to cut the string. We want it quite a tail, so look here we are. There we go. And then here we're going to do a train. So bring the wool over your hook and drag it through. That's a normal train. And then we're just going to keep going. And there is your body. So now I'm going to use a needle, it's called a darning needle, in my mess. Um, and I'm going to sew it. Use this darning needle, it's quite a big needle. Unfortunately, you couldn't hear it in time to switch off YouTube. I'm going to uh, use it.